Okay, so I want to show this little uh, circuit simulator that I've been working on. And uh, this is just kind of a fun little side project, but I'll probably put it out there uh, for people to kind of mess around with. Uh, so you got four tools at the bottom, wire, build, delete, move. And uh, so let's just kind of dive in. So you get a slew of components here. They're all kind of randomized. There's no sorting to this list yet or anything. Uh, but the idea is simple. Uh, you can combine various components and get certain outputs, right? So like the simplest would be a battery and a lamp. If we wire those up, we have a light. Pretty simple. I can click and I can hold control to then uh, delete wires. And we can also combine things. So, you know, more than one wire can go out to different places. Uh, we could also wire them together like that. We also can do things like add a switch. All right, so I can wire up a switch to this light, and then I can toggle that light on and off. But we also can do things like uh, a not gate. So that will, it's, it's an inverter. And so now this is going to invert the signal of the switch. And so those are going to be separate from each other. Right. And so we can do any sort of like circuitry logic with this um, with this setup. So, uh, for instance, if I want to do a, an SR NAND latch, uh, I could do that pretty simply. So I'm going to set up another battery here and we're going to create um, two switches. So that's our state switch and then that's our reset switch, the SR, SR latch, state and reset. Okay, and then that's going to be wired up directly to power. And then we need two NAND gates. And then we will output the state of those with lamps. And so our state will be this light here and our inverse state will be over here. Basically, this is, uh, this is our one, this is our zero. You could kind of think of it that way. So wiring this up is pretty cool. It's just kind of a feedback loop between these two NANDs. Now, when these switches are off, uh, this is undefined behavior in terms of what these lights will do based on the circuitry diagram. But on, both of them on is kind of the, the normal state. This is what's holding the current state. Now, when you first do that, it's gonna be kind of random. But uh, right now we have our one bit set now, if we want to set that one bit, we just have to toggle this on and off, right? Nothing's gonna change because it's already on. If we want to turn that off and turn our other one on, we toggle the reset bit. So you can see that no matter what, as I change this switch, uh, the state holds. And then similarly, again, if I do the thing up here, it's gonna have the same effect, switch the bit over to the top, right? Uh, so what's fun about this is we can also do things like adders, right? So I'm going to kind of build an adding circuit here. So this might take a minute, uh, but I'll just do um, three bits. So we're going to add, we'll have two three-bit numbers, which will be represented by uh, these switches. So that's zero. That's, well, if we flip it, it would be on. I'll show you. Okay. So... Uh, let's create our another three bit number here. Have a battery power all of these. Okay, so now I could toggle these switches on and off, right? Um, and so, for instance, that's that's one, that's two, that's four. That's three, just binary right to left, right? Okay, so that is our three bit number. So what, what can that go up to? That's a one, two, four, four, seven, right? We count from zero to seven with this. So we'll set up our lamps to represent the result. So it's technically a three bit number, but we're gonna have uh, one carry bit so we'll have four lamps right there. And some other thing would be right to left. All right, so to set this up, uh, basically we want a combination of half adders and full adders. 
And so the, the first one will be a half adder. And so this is gonna take the input of these two switches and it's going to output the state and the carry bit. So to build one of these circuits, uh, we need an XOR, first of all. So we're at XOR, and then that's gonna be directly followed with an AND next to it as such. Uh, I should probably move these a little bit. Okay. And then we just wire those up. So again, our our first number over here is gonna to connect to the XOR and it's also gonna to connect to the AND. It's kind of confusing have it go to that leg. Let's keep it in the same way there. And then similarly, the first bit on the other number is gonna to connect to those as well. Okay. So just like that, we have a one bit adder, a half adder. And so this is gonna be able to output directly to our first bit over here. Make this cleaner, I'm gonna add a little node right here. Okay, so if I toggle either of these bits on, you'll see that it turns on. Now if they're both on, uh, the carry bit, which is right here, will toggle on and our XOR you can see is off. That's because you know we're, we're, we need to carry a bit forward. Uh, so right now that wouldn't work. So technically, if we wanted to, I could wire this up to this other light and we would see uh, the number two, right? But we can't do anything more than that right now. So let's continue on here. Okay, so that's our half adder, and then this is gonna be followed by uh, what we call a full adder. Um, and these are just implementations of them, uh, so I'm, I'm sure they are designed differently in some cases, but these are just easy to build. Okay, so a full adder is a little more complex, but uh, similar idea of components. So we're gonna have uh, an XOR as our first node here. And I'm just gonna kind of lay these out in full. That's gonna be followed by another XOR right after it. And then we're gonna have two AND gates right next to it, followed by an OR gate. Okay, so these ANDs just go right to the OR. That's our next carry bit. And this XOR is our next state value. So I'll wire that up to that light right away. Okay, so now we have to wire the rest of this up. Um, and so, let's see, so the XOR here, we're just gonna kinda go in reverse order here. So the XOR is going to connect to our next XOR, and then this is also gonna feed into the AND gate here. And then we need to pull in the other data. So we have our carry bit from the last one. So that's gonna come in and it's gonna to connect to our XOR down here. And it's also gonna to connect to our AND gate right here. And then we need to pull in our actual bits from our second digit of our binary number here. So we have our first number here. This is gonna come in uh, to the top of our XOR here. It's also going to come down to the AND right here. And then this other bit will do the same. So we'll go to the XOR and to the AND. Okay, and there we go. So now we have two bits wired up. So now if we did one plus one, we see two. And we could also do two plus one, which is three. Now we can't do two plus two yet. They're gonna be off because again, that's gonna hit the carry bit over here, uh, which we don't have wired up yet. So we need to make one more of these and continue it down, All right? So we're gonna build literally the exact same thing as we just did right here uh, and just keep it going, All right? So we have our uh, XOR by an XOR 
and followed by an and with another and and an or. And then we got to wire these up. And then our XOR here, that's going to be our last bit state here. And our last OR here is just going to be an, a, a carry bit. We wouldn't really use that, but we'll just wire it up either way. And then we wire things up the exact same way as we did before. All right, so this XOR goes to here, and it goes to this AND. And then our carry bit comes over. It connects to our XOR and to the AND. And then our actual number bits are going to come in. One goes to the XOR leg there, one goes to the AND there, and the other one does the same. All right, and there we go. We have a three bit number adder, right? So let's try it out. So we have one plus one is two. We have two plus one equals three. We have two plus two equals four. Let's do 3 plus 2, that should be 5. 3 plus 3 is 6. Do like uh, 4 plus 1 is 5. So yeah, there we go. And we, we can see that we have this carry bit at the end. So you know, technically that's out of bounds of our 3-bit number there, but we've got the bit there anyway. So. <laughs> And there we go. Just like that, we have a, a three-bit number. We can add two three-bit numbers together. And as you can see, we could just keep on going, right? So if we wanted eight bits, we would just continue this exact same pattern down the line, and eventually we would have an eight-bit number, and so on and so forth. So kind of cool to kind of play with these and see how it all works. Uh, and yeah, that's it.